Welcome to Sci-Fi Wire Blast Weekend Edition, because it's the weekend. I'm Jackie Jennings, and today I am joined by the founder of Amalgam Comics and Coffee House in Philadelphia, Ariel Johnson. Hello. Hi, Jackie. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, I am so good, and I'm very excited um, because you are an expert in comics. Yes. Fair to say. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of like a. I'll wait for the trade kind of person. So I get super behind. I'm totally behind in my 2018 reading. Okay. I need you to help me cheat, kind of, right. by letting me know what did fans love in 2018 that I should definitely read. A comic that came out recently that was huge for us was uh, Shuri. T'Challa's little sister uh, got her own book. Best uh, character in the movie. Written by Nettie Okorafor, and we could not keep that on the shelf. Uh, another book that we're really excited about is uh, The New Iron Heart, uh, written by Eve Ewing, dropped this week. Uh, so we're really excited to see where these two books go. One thing that I knew was really popular, probably sold really well, was Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn. Yes, always. So I, yeah, I started it. It was really good, but I just, I just kind of fell off. Should I pick it back up? Is it worth it? Definitely worth it. Um, okay. For the customers who ask about it, I say it's like newspaper girls meet Back to the Future. Yeah. Time loops and meeting alternate versions of yourself, always yeah. a good time. One of the biggest things, at least it felt like for us, was Batman number 50, the Selena and Bruce wedding. Kind of like a huge moment in mainstream comics. Oh, absolutely. Batman. But it's still unfolding, kind of like waiting for more there. Are there any indies I should be reading in the meantime? It does feel like 2018 was the year of the indie. Oh, definitely. One book that I'm like loving is The Infidel. It's about uh, a young Muslim woman who's in a New York building and she's being haunted by racist ghosts. No, <laughs> that's yes. scary. A ghost <laughs> yes. and he's racist. And they're racist. You, you know, you have to think about it. Most ghosts are racist. It's like, what year did you die? You're a racist. You're a racist. <laughs> so, you're, so. Unless you are like pretty freshly dead. Right. You're a racist ghost. Yes, yeah, like, oh, you died in 2017. Okay, I gotta ask you some additional questions. <laughs> but if you if you died in 1802, you're racist. Yeah, you're and racist. We, and we don't have to guess about that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so it's, it's so it's a, a comic that deals about uh, xenophobia and 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 all these things, and it's just uh, genuinely terrifying and but also like socially relevant. Um, I just I really love that book. Another horror book that I'm really loving is Juke Joint. So again, another woman of color in the lead in this horror genre. It's by creator T. Franklin, who also did Bingo Love. Oh, yeah. Um, but opposite end of the spectrum, Juke Joint is a very different book. Again, horror comic um, dealing with voodoo and abused women taking revenge. Very, It is very dark. It's very, very adult, but it's it's like such a such an interesting book. And again, uh, T just handles it so well. So if you were to recommend like a magic fantasy book, what would it be? Oh, uh, it would definitely be Magic Order. That book, uh, it kind of mixes uh, ma magic and like uh, the gangster genre. Uh, there is magical hitmen. You know, the book opens with a magical hit. There is a soul camera, and, no. and one of the characters is taken out of the game with the soul camera. He's captured in a photo. I heard that's actually going to be a feature of the iPhone 11. <laughs> is it can. <laughs> It has a telephoto lens and it can suck your soul out. Oh, well that, okay, we're not getting that upgrade. No, we're not gonna get that one. <laughs> so that's like a ton to focus on in comics. I strongly doubt that you have any free time, but if you did, is there anything that you're like geeking out over that's not a comic? The Netflix series, The Haunting at Hill House. Yeah. Um, again, Very horror. Scary. Yeah, I can't, I can't get off of this train. But for me, The Haunting at Hill House comes off as more of a, almost a mystery. Uh, definitely ghosts walking around and all that, but it's it's more about the family and why are they being so tormented by the house and these the ghosts in the house. It, so it's it's more mystery for me. And let's say that um, I don't want to be scared. Let's say I'm a coward and <laughs> I just want to like chill out. What would you recommend? Oh, I have you. Uh, okay. My Little Pony. Definitely Fully opposite. on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. No ghosts floating around there. I kind of fell into My Little Pony. I didn't expect to, but I... No one does. You don't expect My Little Pony. You don't expect My Little Pony, but it's a solid universe. Like, the world building in My Little Pony is is epic. Well, that is a lot to catch up on from 2018, but we want to know what were some of your favorite comics of the year, and also, what are you looking forward to next year? Subscribe and let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss any Sci-Fi Wire updates.